Okay, thank you very much. Right then, to so two questions like this. The first thing that I've noticed here is I've got a scale to be working with. Now that's something that I can sort of use right at the end. I don't need to worry about that until right at the end, even though it's told me on the first line. Okay? It tells me a ship is on a bearing of 027 degrees, 27 degrees, from Fishguard. From being the important word there. From Fishguard means I'm putting my protractor on Fishguard. Okay? I'm looking for 027. Now, there's three important things you need to know about bearings. The first one is that they are always measured in three digits. And that's why it gave me 027 rather than just 27. Okay? Always given in three digits. You always measure clockwise. Thank you, sir. And you always start north at zero, zero, zero. Why have I said that as zero, zero, zero rather than just zero? Excellent, Will. Because of the first point, it's three digits. So you don't just say zero, you say zero, zero, zero. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my protractor and I'm going to put the centre on fish guard because it said from fish guard. And I make sure zero is on the north line. So there's zero and I'm looking for 27. There's 20, there's 30, so 25 in the middle. So 27 must be two on there. Okay, I make a mark, I get rid of the protractor, and I draw a line going through there, and I'm going to go until the edge of my drawing, because I don't know where the other one's going to intersect it. Okay? The next thing I need to do now is read what the other, what the other one was. It said 330 degrees from... So from is where I'm putting my protractor, from Abarero. Okay? Now, if you have a 180 degrees protractor, that can um, cause a bit of a problem because obviously it doesn't go up to 330. So there's two options that you can work here. The best one for me would be to turn my protractor around and then carry on counting from 180 this way up until 330. Now, I know that if I went 180 round again, 180 and 180 makes... 360, so I'm looking for 330, so I'm going to count back in tens. So that 170, that would be 350, that would be 340, that would be 330. The other option is that I could have come to this 350. Say again, Will. What's the problem? Can you make sure you're quiet when I'm explaining this? Thank you. Um, you could have done 330 minus 180 because of taking that protractor spinning it round, getting rid of that 180, which would have told us to measure 150 degrees on the protractor once it's spun around. So now, I move my protractor to Aberaeron, centre on Aberaeron, zero straight on the north line, and I'm looking for that 150, or you could have thought 360, 350, 340, 330. I make the mark there, remove the protractor, and I draw until my lines intersect. Where they intersect, that's where my ship is. You usually mark it with an S for ship. That will have got you three marks. You'll have noticed that I gave you four marks before, because, or four minutes because it was four marks. And the question says, find the distance of the ship from Aberystwyth. So at Aberystwyth here, I need to measure how far away the ship is. That line is five centimetres long. So is the distance of the ship, is that five centimetres from Aberystwyth? We were told right at the start that one centimetre was the equivalent of five kilometres. So Will, any idea what we might do next? Bear in mind, we know that it's five centimetres. Someone said it then, so we nailed it. You multiply it. If you times this by five, because one times five is five, you must do that to the kilometres. Five times five is? 25 kilometres. So that is how far the ship is from Aberystwyth. Absolutely.